Hey everybody, it's Michael Fisher with PocketNow.com. You're probably wondering why I'm not in the sound booth like usual with the acoustic foam behind me and the gray pallor over everything. And it's because what I have to show you today is too large to fit in the sound booth. Deal with that. So, you know by now that I bought a Nokia Lumia 920 today at the AT&T store and that I also unboxed the Nokia Lumia 810. So, the AT&T store didn't have a wireless charging plate for me, and I wanted to charge something wirelessly, and I really, really wanted awesome sound with my music while I did that. So, I picked up the JBL PowerUp sound dock, and when I got home I had an email in my inbox letting me know that AT&T had mailed my free wireless charging plate, because that's how it goes. But, this is very cool. So we're gonna take it out of the box, we're gonna see how it works with the Nokia Lumia 920 very briefly, and you're gonna get a sense of what this $300 accessory can do. Okay, so while we still have some sunlight here, why don't we take a look at what we actually have in the box of the JBL Power Up. Box within a box, the old trick. This is not very elaborate packaging. I'm just a bumbling fool when it comes to boxes sometimes. Wow, this thing is heavy. I don't know what the, uh, the actual specs are on the, on the weight, but that, that is not a light device. So that's the device itself. Looks like we've got a nicely compartmentalized series of, of cables here. Instruction manual. Oh, and an adapter. All right. So, when all is said and done, what comes in the box is the power-up dock itself, an audio cable, a power cable, and some documentation. Around back here, you'll notice some controls and some ports on the back of the unit. On the left is the power on standby button. This is the DC in jack for the power cable, which is plugged into the wall. I just plugged that in. As well as a service jack, which looks to be micro USB, and an audio in jack for that audio cable we showed you. I'm going to go ahead and press the power on standby button. And when we press that power standby button, we get a nice light display. Showing the landing zone where to put the phone, and nice audio feedback that the unit is turned on. Now on the Lumia 920, which is the example device we're using, we're going to go ahead and make sure Bluetooth is turned on in the settings menu. And we'll make sure that our NFC is turned on as well. It's under tap and send in the settings, which took me a second to find. Once we've confirmed that, we just go ahead and tap the device in the landing zone. As we bring the device closer, you notice the landing zone lights up, which is very, very nice. The Windows Phone confirmation chime shows us that the unit is charging. That's very nice. Now, the units didn't pair automatically, so I'm going to go ahead and activate manual pairing. There we go, JBL Power Up. Tells us it is connecting. And we are connected. And there's our confirmation ping. And because we don't have any music on this device yet, we're just going to hop back into the AT&T radio. From ABC News. And there we are. A fiscal volume controls He's up and down. Reelected, and he said all along. There's no physical feedback on the volume keys. These appear to be either heat activated or capacitive keys, but they work quite well. Because they could show way up. And finally, because the NFC connection is only needed for initial pairing, and this is not dependent on a near field effect, we can take the Lumia 920 off of the dock, and the broadcast is not interrupted. Finally, you'll notice these play controls on the right-hand side adjacent to the volume controls next to the NFC indicator. These uh, allow you to control the device's uh, music player. You can get reverse, forward as far as track skipping, and play and pause. It does not function with the ABC radio app, that, excuse me, it does not function with the AT&T radio app that we are using currently. Uh, once we get this device synced with our music collection, we'll be able to give this more of a thorough test drive. We've still got some testing to do with the JBL Power Up. This is just a quick look, as we said before, but at its core, this is a fairly simple product. It is a speaker dock that is heavy, that is big, that delivers some pretty impressive sound, and that lets you pair your Nokia Lumia 920 or your other Bluetooth-enabled wireless phone pretty simply. Is it worth $300? Well, we're not sure yet. Check back with us in a few weeks. 
Once again, I'm Michael with Pocket Now. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Captain Two Phones. Follow Pocket Now on Twitter at Pocket Now Tweets. Visit us at PocketNow.com, of course, for a whole lot more coverage on Nokia products, Windows Phone products, Android, iOS, the whole bag. That is PocketNow.com. Throw us a thumbs up here on the video if you like what you saw. And thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.